Hello everyone and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator. So uh, you guys want us to reset our skills and get to level 2 shop, and I think that's a good idea so we have the room. Oh, this part is always so loud. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll reset our skills. We'll get um, the thing set so that we're going to be all good and happy with a level 2 shop. And then we can buy those other upgrades later on. Has stopped responding. Let's wait for this program. Daryl, welcome to the stream. I got a new boss at my work, and so I haven't been able to stream very often because it's just oh, so annoying. But I'm here now. And uh, let's see. Probably won't be able to do multiple streams today, but, uh, you know, I owe you guys, like three additional episodes so we can stay on track for our goal of 1,000 episodes. Which we should hit in about two months. Maybe less. Probably less. Look at it. Listen to that music. Okay, we're here. Alright, so we need to reset our skills. It's going to cost us 10,000. 16,000. Alright, so we want oh we've got this we have to have that but let's see strength 50 percent removal of tool, uh, stuff we want that we want to unscrew things faster <laughs> okay that's interesting uh walk speed not crucial discounted shops not crucial 50 percent faster part examination is not crucial uh, this is definitely a good one to get. Repair 65%, 75%, shop upgrade. Boom. All right, we'll take a look in just a second. Now, we do need some of these tools. ODB, uh, the tablet, of course. That saves us so much time. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? 5% off orders, don't need it. Um, electrical systems wasn't very, it wasn't needed really. Instantly examine three parts, not necessary. 100% unscrew speed increase, of course. We want faster uh, picking up parts and things. Okay, now, what do we got? Odds of successfully repairing up to 85%. That's amazing. What do we got? Instantly examine nine parts. No, ten percent discount. Not necessary. Twenty-five percent off fast or twenty-five percent faster walking speed. This one right here. That's a nice one. But it says we can't do it until we've spent fifteen points. I think is what it means here. Yes. Hello, sir. Daryl, you're a hero. Compression fuel tester. I would love to get my hands on that. Uh, compression as well. We don't need the discount. We'll get that tool right there. We need to spend one more over here. So I guess we'll we'll get that walk speed increase. Still hasn't unlocked it, okay. We need to spend possibly one or two more points. More income, might as well. Now, we just don't have this area yet. So we'll hold on to our last point. Oh, look at look at that. The place, it's opened up so much since I got rid of that wall. They added another... Uh, oh. Tire storage? My settling bottles? This looks amazing. Oh, the computer got moved? What's over here? The warehouse. Oh, okay. So it's no longer at a locker over there. And then we got a computer there. So what? what's over here? Another computer. Okay. And another computer. Oh, if only this game was multiplayer. Just be shouting over the orders. Phone, okay. Lots of free papers. Okay. Cool. Our upgrade. Ah, oh, two doors. Main gate. Let's go to our parking garage and get our uh, two cars. 
Or, well, one car for now. Let's see. A car auction. Parking. Parking it is. Let's see. The Hellcat or the Chieftain? <clears throat> Go to parking. Okay, it was just telling us what was there. No, I'm not the hero. You are the hero. Aww. Daryl, you like my work? That's That makes you a hero in my book. Oh, okay. Well, this is our parking garage, huh? And there's the town. Nice. There's a sky of days gone past. Let's uh let's keep this car. This is probably the muscle car that we're going to we're going to sell once we've uh built it up. So <laughs> How do I do this? Leave garage, photo mode. Oh, maybe I drive it out of here? Oh, there's no there's no seat. Car overview, okay. Leave garage. Hmm. Move to garage, there we go. Can I move you to garage too? There, perfect. Now let's move us to the garage. Loading. There it is. Don't know why the music has to stop. But yeah, me and One Snot, we played some Orbital. Fun game. That looks like... Hmm. I wonder if I can park another car there. One of the cars immediately went over to here, so we might as well start working on it. Hmm. Well, we did find it in a, gar uh, a barn, so might as well start pulling stuff. Batteries at 27%. Carbs. You know, we got that 85% chance to repair. We're going to be using it a lot on this thing. Got to get this rust off of there. Mm-hmm. At least we don't have to worry about gaskets and stuff. Oh, the rotor wouldn't prevent us from taking out the the silly thing. There we go. All right. Get all these bolts out. Yeah, so work's been interesting at the shop. We had another person leave due to suspicion. So now we're hiring. And hopefully we can get some honest people. We'll get all the rockers off first. Then we'll pull the push rods. How's that sound? So this one's all for our gain. When we um, sell this car, we're going to be making some money. So the cheapest we can do it, the better. Get this head off. And we can get a view of the pistons. Hmm. They're all the same color. We won't be able to remove them until we get the... Uh... Hmm. There was no exhaust manifold on that side. Yeah, the exhaust pipe's just waving in the breeze. But yeah, this is awesome. Our own card make some money off of it but another thing we can do is take it to the uh, the strip and see if it's the car that will unlock the achievement for beating the um, 
fastest speed in under a minute. We're looking for a 60 second car. Alright, we'll get this exhaust manifold off as well. And we should probably, yeah, get the push rods. After that, we should definitely drain the oil out of the, the pan. Get it uh, prepped for taking out the pistons. go weird thing is the pistons are all the same color so does that mean it's gonna be all okay there look I just gave the engine more horsepower by taking off one of the loads it's so weird having the, the big shop you know this is still in the same place which is I guess nice Lift A, and that's lift B. And then we'll push the button. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> no oil. Better safe than sorry, though. Okay, let's see. Must be from engine bay, so we can get it, at least the pan off. It's these six bolts here. The saltiest dog, you are here now. Welcome. It's good to have you. We just bought, in the last episode, two barn finds. And now we are working on at least one of them today. Then we'll probably get some more orders in. Keep the money flow growing. The car we got sitting over there is uh, another story mission one. So it'll be an interesting journey down the path of how the dealership told them I think, I think the dealership told him on that one that the, it's all his fault that the wear happened. Okay, uh, one more. That is looking prepped. Nope, I saw it. I saw that last one right, right there. As I, we pulled our head away, it showed itself. All right, let's lower the car. Start pulling out some pistons. Gotta like this color though. Blue, it's very nice. There. <laughs> Wasn't selecting that one at first. Uh, what do you mean, wrong? Did I miss it? Aw, oh, man. I did miss one. There was two. There it is. Perfect. We can't pull that out. I still got the pulley attached to the front of it, even though it doesn't tell us that. Yeah, this stuff right here. Oh man, we almost got it to bare block. And then we're gonna even pull that out. Get it shined up or replaced. Power steering pump. Disgusting looking. All rusty. Timing cover. Mmm. There we go. You know, I wonder if they're going to make another car mechanic simulator for this coming year now that the month 
um, yeah, we're about 50% through, oh, it's like 60% through the year already. So we'll have the 20, 2020, would it? Because they're, they're like two years ahead now. All right, so that one has to be done from underneath, and then the engine will come free. It's pretty impressive. Took us what? Mm. Looking for the timer. 15 minutes to take that engine apart. If only real life was like that. What? I didn't pull out that piston. Wah. can only be assembled. Now, what I want is to take out this piston. There we go. Now we can pull out the crank. What do you mean, bong? Transmission? Does that need to come off too? There. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Some reason it wasn't zooming in, but then it did. I think we're going to be able to repair most of this. There we go. You can only pull out the block from in the engine bay. All right, sounds good to me. Lower that thing down, let's take a look. Look at that. There's probably some barn finds that are just like this too. No engine at all. All right, neat. That's, uh, that's really cool. So, let's see if we can spend that point on repair. We can't. Great. Well, how about on faster examination? No. Seems to be something missing. Well, I guess we'll spin it. I, I don't see any point of getting the tire wear gauge. We're just going to replace the tires each time. There. Maybe this is in combination with that. So we got 85% chance of getting stuff repaired. Fingers crossed. Here we go. This is going to cost us three bucks and varying amounts. Oh, three bucks each time. Oh, we broke the engine block. <laughs> Oh, that's that's gonna be expensive. Why did it have to be such an expensive part? Oh, we broke that too. Oh, that exploded. Oh. Ah, oh, the radiator exploded. All right, well, out of everything we pulled off that motor, we only had like three or four things break, and one of them was very important. That was the uh, engine block. So we're gonna take a look. Engine block, so we need the new engine block, V8 OHV. Let's see, main shop, block, OHV. There it is, a brand new one. Wonderful. Let's uh, let's assemble this engine. With that in there, uh, I do want to see if we have to uh, have to pull it to remove the frame underneath, because that's uh, definitely something that's going to lower the body value. 
So to do that, we got to get the brakes off, which, of course, have been rusted out for years. There we go. Cool. Um, yeah. The whole steering system's got to come out anyway, so might as well take it out now. So we'll go to this wheel. Get that out of there. So, gentlemen. The saltiest dog and Daryl. What's new? You guys do any car repairs yourselves lately? Since it's the topic of the, the stream, might as well talk about car repairs. Well, that's loading up. Uh, I recently repaired the AC that was leaking on a vehicle in real life. It was quite interesting. I had to buy another can of the sealer because as I was putting it together in my room, it exploded. It, uh, I now have this splash on my wall <laughs> of um, sealer and a drop or two on my cell phone. It doesn't come off. So I'm going to have to repaint that wall now. Very interesting. Not really. Same? Yeah. Well, the AC in my truck doesn't work. And it's not a high priority. But my car's AC working. That's, uh... That's the one I'll drive during the hottest days here. So it's, it's key that the AC works in it. Kind of funny, but it's also the one I'll drive during um, the winter, too, because it's front-wheel drive. And with all that weight on there, I don't have to worry about putting sandbags in the back of my truck. There we go. Cool. Can we pull? All right. Awesome, awesome. I'm glad we don't have to... Uh, we can continue assembling the motor without the front wheels on even though it's kind of just floating there. But, uh, you know, don't question it. There we go. Look at that. No ABS on this car. It is just going to be pure shininess underneath here. Oh, boy. So, did we fix this rod? Camshaft is in. Crankshaft can only be assembled from under the car. Distributor is still no good. The cam gear is no good. Fuel filter is no good. Okay. Coil? No coils. All right. From the stuff we pulled off, let's see if we can repair any of it. Oh, oh it broke right at the last second. Oh, we'll just click through it. There we go. A few things did break right there. <laughs> Okay, I guess we had to spare that too. Interesting. Alternator, you good? Yeah, look at the shine. Oh, this car's gonna be all chrome. Or at least clean steel. Oh, very nice, very nice indeed. All right, so we need a ignition distributor, cap and rotor. Distributor. Hmm. So, does it mean all these caps can fit this one distributor? Well, I'm gonna go with that one. It's a risk, but it's only a, I don't know, a couple bucks. We're spending thousands here. Yeah, that's gonna work course that will and the new distributor cap nice all right so we need a new cam gear v8 ohv tender slender welcome to the stream your mom's van doesn't have great ac 
Yeah, it could be that it needs to be cleaned. Like on the front of the car, the, uh... Hmm... It's not the condenser. But anyway, there's like this radiator-like device on the front. But uh, cleaning it, that's a whole other thing. You should watch YouTube videos and get advice on that. Well, I'm still a mod? Of course you are, Tender Slender. Alright, um... Cam gear V8 OHV Alright, let's get that in there. Cool. Now we gotta raise the car. Or do we do we put in the pistons first? Hmm. No, we gotta put in that cam first. Or the crank. The crank, then the pistons, then the uh, caps and stuff. Look at that shine. Oh my. And only accessible from the engine bay. Oh well. Put that down. Now, if we had the level 3 shop unlocked, we could do body repairs. And this car's outside would look amazing. Alright, so we're going to need pistons and piston rings. And we're going to need eight of each. And there was nothing special about it. It's just with Conrad. So we'll get eight of those. And not nine, eight. And then piston rings were normals too. Eight. You know what? And since we've gone through the repair cycle, right? Yeah. So we can sell anything under 50%. Yeah. No, that's, that's not it. It'd be here, yeah. Anything under 50% can go bye-bye. That way, if we have any upgraded parts for this, they'll show up. Uh, at least that's my thinking. There's one. Get this in here, and then we'll lean over to chat. I'm a permamod? Thank you! Yes, of course. I have to leave soon, because I have chores to do. Daryl, I understand, man. Appreciate your support. I will serve thee well. It is an honor gun. Oh yeah, Tinder. We would have been uh, streaming some Warble, but uh, I fell asleep. And so me and Once Not only had enough time to do two episodes with Miss Medusa. Or not two episodes, two games, so we didn't record it. It was a lot of fun. She, uh, she's, of course, already a master of the game. So, yeah, that happened. Oh, these things are... These things are beautiful. Look at that shine. Oh, that's amazing. All right, what about that intake manifold? Oh, you repaired up, too. Carbs? Ah, they didn't survive it. Carbal. <laughs> Carbal. Carbs. Four barrel. Need two. Carbs. Four barrel. Get two of those. Warble. Yeah. Uh, what is it? It's like planetary shooting each other. Like, as your planet gets close to mine or is very far, I might shoot a laser over at yours. Or you might shoot something back. It's happened. Pretty fun, just kind of destruction game. Bye, gun. I'll see you next time you stream. All right, Daryl. Thank you, man. Let's see. Push rounds. Blitz has recently done a video on it.
All right, push rods. Now, what do we need? We need, hmm, rockers. There they are. Now, another thought occurs to me. Since we're working on our own stuff, we really should upgrade. Be right back. I'm gonna go check out Blitz's Warble video. Sounds good, man. Um, we're gonna upgrade, or not upgrade, open up the uh, the loot crates. There's so many I have. And uh, we might be able to use some of the upgrades from them, like this uh, timing cover and that, and that. Something might go on the car. So let's, uh, let's open these up. All right, all right. Well, that, eh, it's not gonna be useful for this one, I don't think. Maybe the spring. The rear spring probably is gonna be very helpful. Now, let's see. Uh, to scroll down to the next one. I don't want to use the barn finds because, you know, there's a chance that they'll overwrite or overlap. Ooh, this thing right here. This is probably going to be very important. I think we should uh, see if we can install that right now. It's a quality increase, so I'm excited. Let's see. Um, I don't know. That might be it. Can't say I've been able to use successfully one of these parts from the box. Of course, that could be just a repaired version of it, too. Hmm. Round air filter. Yeah. Intake manifold. Eh, no, none of that's going to be useful for this. Let's open up this one. All right. That might be useful. Brake pads? Oh yeah, that's definitely something I can use. Quality plus two as well. Hmm. Front drive shaft, not on this model. It's just rear wheel drive. Let's open another. Oh, we might be able to use it on our other car though. That's a Jeep's one. Hmm. Open in the case. <laughs> I was thinking that was like a condenser or something. I'm like, what? What? There's no improvement on it. But no, it's just a map. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's. I might throw this on the vehicle. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. That's going to save us money right there. Nice. Double map. I suppose that's fine. Ah, welcome back, Tender Slender. Seems like a cool game. You'd be down to watch that? Alright. I, I can tell you that I played about 10 matches already. And, uh, doing okay, you know? I'm not the best. Some people like to toot their own horns pretty hard, though, when they beat me. Urgh. Of course, when I'm, I beat them, I'm very modest about it. Oh, this right here, double carb thing, quality one. We're gonna be uh, installing that on the car. Yep, yep. Wow, are we really running out of boxes already? Hmm. Oh, that might be useful. Or that. I6, though. Eh, maybe. Okay, scrolling. We out of boxes? We're out of boxes. All right. Let's get these upgraded parts on this car. Make it faster. 
All right, so first off, we need to pull this off again. Okay, and we're gonna go install. There it is, quality one, okay. So we have an upgrade, it goes to the front, maybe. Cool, so that's an upgrade. We got our regular carbs. Nice, all right, what do we got? 100%, oh, so shiny. Round filter? I don't have a filter. Hmm. Hmm. That doesn't sound right. And that doesn't sound right. What they call the air filter on this thing? Round air filter to carb. Shoot, they shouldn't have so many that look the same. Air filter to carb. There. We'll just leave it on that menu. Just in case we need a lid for it as well. No lid. Okay. That's a must. Of course, we'll get this chrome one. Because why not? Beautiful. Someone's got fingerprints on it already. No. Cat paw prints or something. Grr. <laughs> All right, we got the we got the push rods. We're gonna put those in. Let's see. Are you working on a personal car? Well, I own two cars personally, and they're always needing maintenance. Like the truck's gonna need brakes, and since it's a two-wheel drive truck, when you do the brakes, you have to take off the uh, pads. And the rotors haven't been changed in too long, so I gotta take off those. But since it's two-wheel drive, inside the rotor hub is the wheel bearings. So there's two of those. There's a grease seal. Uh, there's a bunch of grease, and so I gotta assemble that either before I put it on there or as I put it on there. I'll probably do the full before. Did I really not get enough of these? Two per cylinder. Oh. That's right. So I need um, <laughs> more. And a valve cover, or engine head cover B, B8, okay. Uh, B, engine head cover B, and we want it to say V8. Engine head cover B. But it didn't say OHV. V8 OHV. Engine head cover B. I think that's the one right there. Let's uh let's take a look here. Let's double check. V8 OHV. It's a B with a V8 OHV. <laughs> Okay, V8, OHV, there it is. And we don't have any of those, so we're going to buy two. But yeah, um, you know, whenever you own a vehicle, things go wrong. And so, my AC doesn't work in the truck, the car's power steering has issues, but other than that, they're both pretty reliable. And I'm trying out different chemicals in the, the AC. So, hmm. I think it'll go swimmingly. So we need uh, eight more push rods of the standard variety. We need eight rocker arms of the standard variety. I hear the phone ringing in the background, but I can't grab it. We've got a car 
our own personal car to repair. <laughs> That's exactly right. Oh, I can't wait to get this out on the track. You know, we might even, if I look, car status. So this is the engine curve we currently have. So we're going to be looking to get as close to the blue line as possible, I think. Or maybe that's this here. But then again, nanometers, horsepower, eh. We'll see. See if we can improve that number. Probably forget to look at it, but it will show up. Because that's the screen we also sell the car in. <laughs> After we put all this work into it. We could park it to the side, or in our parking garage, with the two floors. There we go. This is the final push rod and rocker arm on this motor. Holy cow. Internet died? Aw, oh, that sucks. Rest in peace, Internet. 2018. <laughs> Look at that. You guys excited about this engine running for the first time in what, maybe 30 years? It doesn't have a backstory on it, but uh, we're going to say this engine hasn't moved for 30 years. All right. Exhaust manifolds V8, OHV, and an ignition coil B. Exhaust manifolds V H O H V two, and then we want coil B, and then a wire set. Yeah, that's not how you spell wire. Wire set. Wire. Spark plug wires. We want V eight. Do we have an O H V without any letters? Nope. So we're going to buy this one. 95 bucks. And just hope that it's correct. Ah, uh, it won't let us put them in until we get the new spark plugs in there. That's right. We can get the coil. Oh, we had an upgraded coil. Okay. Well, we'll just save that other one for a customer. There we go. Now, do we have any sparky plugs? We got two, and they're not great. And we want eight. No duplicates on this motor. There we are. go all right rotating to the back side of the motor get this last four inserted then I think we'll work on the clutch and then the front of the motor there we go and did we get the right wires we did cool oh do we have clips we don't have any clips we need a uh, clip B to attach the uh, distributor head or cap clip B to quantity. Oh, I wish those were so easy to buy. You're always losing them, and when you need them, no one has them. Like, you gotta go to a wrecking yard to find clip B on a real car. Let's see, my teeth really hurt. Hmm, what can you do about teeth hurting? Hmm. Is it because of sugar? I like the new name in PFP. Hey, tiny egos. Welcome to the stream. Haha, -ha, something told me you were streaming after I saw you playing on Discord. Okay. <laughs> nice. All right, fuel filter. Where are you? Fuel filter. Guys, I can at least tell you. At least this game is in Fortnite. Right? 
There, that's installed. Radiator, you are perfect. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, let's lift the car up and get that clutch put together. It's dino jammed. Roar. I actually roar uh, when, uh, when I say roar on there. Uh, we need a flywheel. And we need it expensive. Flywheel. No gun. I got my braces tightened. Oh, rip, man. They didn't give you any gels or anything to soothe the pain. Clutch plate. I know something got repaired here. But to save you guys from having to go into the menu again, we'll just buy it all. It's not like we don't use it all the time. Symbol. There we go. Plate. Oh, I guess it didn't get repaired. It must have exploded when I tried to repair it. There we go. Transmission got repaired, though. That's nice. Do we have a starter for this? We don't. Hmm. How strange. Starter. Is it the V8? It's a V8 motor, but I don't know if it's actually using a V8 uh, transmission. So let's move over here. It's using the V8 starter. Nice. I've had it trick me before. All right, install. Starter. Oh, that looks so good, guys. What do you think? For those coming in the future, let me know in the comments below how this car looks to you. Alright, uh, alternator, we're going to pull that off and put on the upgrade. There it is, quality plus one. So we got plenty of brand new bushings to throw in here as well. Oh gosh, is that an upgraded bushing I just saw? Let's see. We'll throw it over here. There it is. Plus one to the quality. One more over here. Our supplies running low already. Goodness. From under the car. Timing chain. Let's uh, get one of those ordered up. Timing chain, V8, OHV. Cool. <clears throat> Let's see here. I'm happy since the one feature in the game I play was totally broken, and the game is now getting rebalanced. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Peace, tender, slander, 2018. Why? Oh, because the internet. No gun. I got my braces tightened. I don't have braces. Just tell your teeth. To cooperate, uh huh. Which bot? Weapon Slender. Hmm. Just had to catch up with chat there. Hmm. Timing chain. We just bought it. There we go. Cover? Ah! <laughs> Block my view. Water pump. Perfect. That repairability is so nice. All right, no crank pulley. What about water pump? We got that upgraded one. All right, so V8 OHV crankshaft pulley. You know, it'd be nice if there wasn't so many transitions. I think that's what causes a lot of people to leave the video. It's going back and forth to the tablet and stuff. But, um, yeah, if they could fix that, that'd be so nice. 
We need a B. Serpentine belt B. Belt B. Serpentine belt B. Hmm. That's a lot of belts. Serpentine belt B. A lot of A's. C. Serpentine belt B. Hmm. But it doesn't look like the right shape. Belt B. B, B with a V8 OHV. I'm guessing this one. Let's see. No lock on. Uh huh. Stalker with ghost. Got four bots, golems, all shield piercing weapons, two griffins, one rocket launcher, one trans and magnum, and Leo with thunder and pinatas. You guys are talking about that game. All right, did this belt work out? It did. Now we got the other belt, which is Serpentine Belt A V8 OHV. You would think. Oh, and of course, since we left, it cleared it. A V8 OHV. Sure, hope that was the right one. I didn't look as long as the other. Yeah, it looks good. Perfect. All right, fan blade. Did you repair? You did. You installed. Cool. Is that the front of the engine done? I think so. What about this battery? Oh, we sold it because it was garbage. Battery, just one option. That's all we really need in the automotive world, is one option. But I guess, where's the fun in that? All right, so we can lift it up and start putting this front end back together. Steering rack, you are repaired. Uh, tie rod ends, those don't have a repair option, okay. Inner and outer tie rod. Uh, rod. So we need two and two. So we've invested uh, maybe 20 grand in this car so far. What is its value? 30 grand. Okay. So that's a, that's a bit of an improvement. The knuckle. I only saw one knuckle on the list, so I'm thinking a knuckle died in the repair. Okay, what about the Baron? No Barons. What about the rotor? No rotor. All right, so we need Barons and rotor. Rotor. All right, call it a disc. Two. Uh, and then we need um, wheel bearings. Two. Oh, really? Wheel hub uh, cup? Wheel hub cup. Wheel hub cup. No. Is it cap? It looked like cup. Wheel, hub, cap. There. Since it doesn't have any front wheel drive, this fills the hole. Boom. Let's see. What's your clan? Scrap mechanic. Oh, I have no clue what anything is in this game. 22 on clan. On top clans. Oh, snap. Wow. That's pretty cool, man. 
quality plus two. Oh, brakes on this side are gonna work like a dream. We're gonna need a caliper. <laughs> I only have one in inventory. Hmm. Yes. Oh, we need a rubber bushing. Rubber bushings. Get 11 of those. Perfect. Lower. Nice. Looks so clean. Uh, let's see. Vintage tire. We're going to have to do something about that. And we need a double wishbone shock absorber for the front. Gosh, I was like, where's all my inventory? It's up here. Double wishbone shock absorber. Just got a spring plate. Okay. Wishbone. Double wishbone shock absorber for the front. Two of them. We're going to need some spring for the front. Two of them. And we're going to need a spring cap. That's for the... There it is. Front shock absorber spring cap. Threw me for a loop there. The other one is for rear. We need to compress this. And our compressor is still in the same spot. Uh, join parts. Okay, that's compressing it. Take and another. Oh, very nice. Perfect. Okay. Gentlemen. We are getting close to having the engine done completely, which is done. Uh, having the left side completed. Sway bar B. Sway bar B. Oh, we need some of these too. Mmm. After we get this in here. Uh-oh. Okay, I wonder what just turned off. And it's coming back. Hmm. Didn't unplug anything. Oh, the strange noises of the computer. Alright, it's uh, B. We need two. There we go. Look at that. That side is finished. <laughs> oh, the other one broke, huh? Whoops. Okay, we need uh, steering knuckle C. Steering a knuckle with a C. Let's put that together. Let's see here. John, welcome to the stream. Anyone else that I've missed during this uh, time of putting together, welcome as well. Just say hi again and I will get to you. There we go. Alright, so we need an upper suspension arm A and a bottom suspension arm upper A. We are working on a barn find. Upper suspension arm two. Lower suspension arm two. And uh, we're going to take it to the racetrack and see if we can get the achievement for going fast. Getting it uh, clocked at under a minute, which would be amazing. So we're making everything the best. No expenses saved besides the repairability. But that just makes it brand new anyway. Unlike real life, this is wrong, huh? Bottom. It's not lower, it's bottom on this one. Oh, that wording. Bottom. Now 
And then it just points me in random directions when I get out. Doop, doop, doop. Let's see here. You're gonna follow me? All right, sounds good. I got one of them Twitters as well, but I don't have any uh, links to it at the moment. All right, brake pads. We need brake pads. Do we got bearing? We got a bearing. And we got a cap. We need a brake pads. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, they are. We don't have any upgraded ones for this side, but the game should just... It just won't give us the uh, full bonus like it did on the other one. Okay. All right. We got plenty of caliper pistons, but we need the caliper body itself. So we'll build that up. Yeah, sorry about the transitions in this game. It's the one downfall of it is that it just keeps popping your head out. There we go. Double wishbone shock. We got the upgraded one. And a sway bar link. Perfect. 5k gold. Nice, man. Saving for a fifth. 400. Oh, snap. Wow. They changed a lot. You guys still talking about Fortnite? Hmm. All right. Oh. <laughs> there we go. All right. That's all back together. So... We've repaired the drive shaft. Now we can get rid of this exhaust and upgrade it. These are middle mufflers, and these are V8 OHV end. Let's get the rear tires off. You see what I see over there? A little bit of rust still. So we're gonna need some pi front pipes as well for the V8 OHV. Oh, there's the other one. All right, drum brakes. Get all that apart. There we go. Looking over at chat. My advice is don't buy anything for gold. I bought the Fuji and it was a mistake. Yeah. The Fuji. All right. I've lost what game you guys are playing. But it sounds pretty interesting. Oh, we got bushings to worry about. Right here and here. On this a leaf spring. Hmm, I wonder if we're going to be able to repair the whole axle. Vintage tire. Nice. Get these off. That. What? It's going to make noises at me, is it? Hmm. Well, now that we got the front done, the middle would be considered the drive shaft and the exhaust. Uh, mm. Then we just got, oh, got to look inside the shaft. Um, the rear, which is a lot less components, and then we can go to the racetrack. So we are nearly there, guys. Rhino is good. It all depends on how they use it. Hmm, I should probably do that. Yeah? Crazy chat. There we go. It's all out. Let's repair what we can. Man, having the upgraded shop is just... just throws me off. Oh, failed that one. Just uh, clean up all this stuff. Oh, the fuel pump exploded. Great. Well, 
Let's see. Fuel tank? Still gotta get a new one, okay. Let's see, fuel tank. Now we're gonna need a fuel pump, because that one exploded. Fuel pump. Then, I can't remember if we saw an axle on there or not. There. The very back of the car is done. Okay, so that's not a repairable part. Rear spring, rear drive axle. Oh, rear leaf spring, rear drive axle. 600 bucks. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. Those got repaired. Sweet. That's going to be done, too. Oh. Having an 85% repairability is amazing. Let's see. I realize if you go into the shield, you'll do little bits of health damage. Hmm. Oh, right. We got an upgrade. Nice. All right. So we're going to need one extra U-bolt and... One more plate here. Yeah, the leaf spring plate and one more U-bolt. Let's get them now. U-bolt. One more. 15 bucks. And leaf plate. One more of those. Okay, we're going to be prepared for that other side. Cool. Zoom in a little bit more. Sometimes it gets all weird with how it zooms. That's all right. We'll deal. There we are. And then we know we have this and that. And the shaft. Oh, we're so close to being done. Another five, six, seven minutes. We're going to be all set. All right, uh, brake pads, drums. All right, so I'm gonna need one wheel cylinder, one shoes, two drums. Okay, now the shoes. Oh, uh, shoe? Drum. Perfect. All right, now we're down to wheel on this end and shock absorbers. So these are rear shock absorber Bs. Rear shock absorber B, two of those. Now, the other thing we're gonna need, is it gonna be springs? No, because it's using leaves. Hmm. Hmm. It's going to be exhaust next. There. Nice shiny shock for you. And then another one over here. Exor, welcome. Cars have shoes? Yes. Welcome to the stream. I'm sorry if I missed you. Say hi. Uh, rear muffler. V8. Oh, HV. Two. Then we need two middle mufflers. Ah, that's not how you spell. Middle mufflers for two. Okay. I can't remember the other things. Front pipe, was it? Down to the exhaust and tires, which is amazing. Is that middle mufflers? Yeah. Okay, we'll take a look. This thing's not saying put on a tire because we need to put the shoes on it. Yeah, shoes were on older vehicles. Rear brakes were not disc all the time. And at one point, front and rear uh, brakes were all drum with their shoes. CV, let's see, we'll get the uh, axle in there too. 
we're gonna be down to tires in just a few seconds. This is amazing. All right, let's see here. Front exhaust pipe V8 OHV B. Front exhaust pipe V8 OHV B. Front exhaust pipe V8, but not OHV. Of course it doesn't like that. Dang it, let's take another look at it. Front exhaust pipe V8, OHV, B. There we go. I'm just putting the important stuff. Get two of those, and then, with the magic of clicking, we will get them installed. And now we just need some tires. So, what tires did this car come with? Came with some Rim Retro 07s. So this is a 205-75 R14 with a 0ET. Are you sure you wish to sell it? Not yet. Rim Retro 07. Separate. Oh, okay, so we got vintage tire plus rim retro 07. So, to the tablet. Let's see here. Be right back, Jam. All right, Tender. Yeah, I am having. I was being a lurker. Oh, I see. Like my normal self. Oh, no. Creeping in the shadows. So spooky. Oh, is there a 1950 hot rod? Oh, no. It's not. Uh, no, I would say this is probably 70s era. This one, I don't think, is an actual um, name vehicle. This is the Chieftain Bandit. Maybe. I've never heard of it. But um, there are DLCs with the named vehicles, and I do have many of them. So, yeah. So we want some vintage tire. And I think it said 20575R14. 20575R14. Okay, good, good. I just want to make sure before we invest like $4,000. Vintage. <laughs> That's not how you spell it. Vin. Vin. Avalanche. Okay. Well, hmm. Was it vintage for the tire? Vintage. There it is. Vintage tire. So we got four of 14, 205, and a 75. Four of them. There we go. Cool. Well, what was that rim then? Rim Retro 07. Aha. So to the rim shop. Rim Retro 07. Rim Retro 07. We can go size 14. Four of them. Size 14, zero order sweet we will now combine them that's separating don't need to do that combine i have other tires <laughs> they get in the way goodness uh this one plus that you know since the boxes give us one single tire we should just sell them it's just one tire Oh, it's not. Okay, back. Welcome back, Tender. I watched you gun and won and bomb stream forts. Oh, cool. I was in once not stream. I know, I know. That was literally my first time playing it. 
All right, rolling over to this one. And while that's happening, we'll balance this tire. Oh, we're almost ready to take these cars out on the road. Shoot, that means I, I just got the achievement. Vulcanizer. We have done 100 tires. That's awesome. Almost done with the tires. You know, tires is when I lose like one fourth of my viewership during the stream. <laughs> no one wants to see the tires being spun and the options being clicked as fast as possible to keep people around. All right, we take that. And now we're gonna put on these tires. Yeah. Almost done. You know, if we don't sell this car right off the bat, we could. Because it's not like we need the money right now. We could wait until we get a level level three garage. And when we do that, we can actually repair the body. Have this car looking great. But I'll leave that up to you, chat. Chat, you decide. There's uh, currently four of you. Let me know. We need a majority vote. If we sell the car, if we keep it around until we can repair the body and make it look even better. Right now it's worth 41,798 bucks. All right, we're gonna move you to... Oh, we need to open up a spot, don't we? Mm, this is our next car, storyline mission one. We're gonna move you to lift B, which is amazing, now that we have that ability. And we're gonna move you to uh, spot A. There we go. Oh shoot, there's a panel missing. <laughs> and we can't even paint. Hmm. All right, well. There's no customization in the toolbox. For this guy. Look at that, plus one. Front windows, all the body stuff. Crankshaft, bearing cap, oil filter. Oh, it still needs an oil filter. Well, why don't you get back on lift A? And we'll put some oil in ya. So it takes a V8 OHV filter. Oh, but we're in the rim shop. Okay. V8 OHV filter. V8 OHV oil filter. Only accessible from under the car. Razor up. All right, Tender Slender, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you moder mo moderate? moderating. That's it. Oh, man, I need more caffeine. Let's see. There you go, uh, Mr. XOR. Yo, we'll see something the next time you speak. Oh, my. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I thought we were done with the engine. <laughs> But no, we uh we never went back underneath it after that. Let's uh let's just finish this up. We got all the parts. 
They should give free oil for every rim purchased. They should. The oil is pretty much free. It's like 12 bucks for an oil change, so I can't complain about that. Am I not going to have enough caps? Oh, no. I'm going to need two of them. Yeah. Rod cap. Because they broke while repairing them. Rod cap. Two of those. There we go. All right. Oh, man. That's that's the color of the car now. Now that we've finished this work. It's like a brand new car. I also need to take a look. Oh, we're short one. We're short one. Let's see. Make that car great again. Okay. I think you should keep it. All right. Peace. Let's see. Anyone else say anything? That was literally my first time playing it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna keep the car after we're done and we see if we get the achievement with it. And, uh, yeah. See if we can get that achievement. That's, that's all important, right? Achievement hunting on something that's super hard to get. Yeah, sure. There we go. Do we got a pan? We got a pan. And we'll pour some oil in it. How's that list look now? Cool. Small rubber bushings. Missing some bushings in the back? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Here we are. We have just enough. Man. Good thing we're checking this stuff before we get it out on the open road and be like, what's that clunking noise? Can't win a race if the rear suspension's going to rattle itself apart. All right, perfect. So, let's look at this chart now. Okay, so we just got some bad body and a front left fender missing. Now, once we get it down, we can put some oil in it, then move it. Oil cap is back here. That should be good. Let's check the dipstick. Oh, look at that. Right in the middle. Sweet. Okay. I'm at a loss. Front panel. The vehicle's name is... Chieftain Bandit. Front left fender. Chieftain Bandit. There it is. Front left fender. The only issue with this is it's not going to be the right color till we uh, get that upgrade. There we go. All right. Car. Close that hood. You are ready. You are ready for the racetrack. Start this car. Oh, first time, too. Oh, man. $12? Do you know how much coffee you can buy with that much? Yes. Yes, I do. It's about two cups. Racetrack. Let's see. Parking. Abandoned airport. Speed track. Let's go there first. We're going to take the Chieftain. Because that's our car. 
customer's going to be like, you haven't worked on my car in a week. <laughs> All right. Let's hope that we win that achievement. We've done everything we can for this car. All right. You guys ready for this? Three, two, one. All right, we reached 50 miles an hour after about six seconds. We're at 200 at 23 seconds. Are we gonna be able to pull it off? 300? Nope. It's a muscle car. But it's not that fast. Oh, it was so worth a try there. We were so close. Man. All right, let's get back. Um, we can take it out to the circular racetrack and see how the turning goes. We should check to see what it's... They're calling it. Hmm... Forty-three thousand dollars. Get back inside here. Drive the car over to the racetrack. The Chieftain Bandit. Another loading screen graces our presence. It does one d five damage. All right. Accelerate to start. There's also an achievement here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> I hit the brakes and the wheels locked. This one doesn't have ABS. Oh. Who invented this racetrack? <laughs> All right, next time we bring a car with ABS. Maybe our other barn find has that. Oh, <laughs> um, I'm leaving actual marks on the ground. That's cool. They didn't have to do that. This one's for more of a drag strip car than a turning car. Well, we passed the finish line, but I think I think we're not going to finish racing. <laughs> All right. Oop. Restart the race? Okay. Gosh. There we go. Alright. We're gonna we're gonna return to garage. Well that was fun. We've already been streaming for an hour and twenty-nine minutes, so I think with the repair of this car, I can say that it we're pretty much ninety percent done with it. We're gonna do body repairs in the next video. Uh hopefully. I may have to cram on some regular cars or maybe even stream repairing this car and getting through some more story missions so that we can get the XP necessary to level up. It's going to cost us a minimum of three levels to get here where we get the body and the tuning and a third lift and then there's the end of the game right there. Good to be lucky. Which I don't know what it means. It doesn't say. So thanks everyone for watching. Thanks, uh, Lone Wolf Mercenary. Hey, man, thanks for coming down. Yeah, I'm about to die from teaching a guy how to play a game. Oh, my.
Exor, thanks for coming down and being a new moderator, if you notice you're blue. Tiny Egos, you as well. Thank you for coming by. We got uh, the Tender Slender who has left for the day. Uh, there was uh, John and Joe. And Darren, of course. Darren and the Saltiest Dogs, the first ones to arrive today's stream. So, yes, thanks everyone for watching. I mean, this was fun. We've got a new car just sitting, and we're probably going to send it off to the parking lot for now to make room for more delicious repairs. If anything, I would change about this game. Mostly, I would change that it's so lonely. I have one three lifts, well, two lifts at the moment, but three soon, and no multiplayer. So this was Billy on the Good Jab Seat Show. <laughs> Signing off. Bye bye. Music's pretty good at the moment. Mm-hmm. All right.